problem is uh, we're getting like the T5100 you're gonna spend about 450 to buy a probe like that for home use I really can't justify it so I'm looking at making my own probes for now my goal is just to be better than what this uh, P4100 scope probe was the Hantech T3100 actually has better specifications than some of the adjuvant probes I looked at so they had showed this probe up to uh, 100 megahertz that it was good maybe do uh, 100 volts I think we can easily uh, surpass this and 2 kV up to about 40 kilohertz so I've made a few different ones I started out with this configuration here so it's several high voltage resistors in series with several capacitors across them and case this thing in copper foil it worked I just couldn't uh, compensate it to get a flat response for over the high frequency range this was another probe I had attempted uh, the BNC jack here is just where I injected the signal this actually uses a foil type capacitor so I'm laying a piece of foil along the length instead of using a bunch of ceramic disc capacitors and then I'm trimming that foil to get the capacitance I want this probe actually worked pretty decent uh, for what it is again I just could not get a flat response with this over the entire operating range I'm looking at this is the third prototype I made uh, this is based off of a TG950 KDAC part uh, these parts are rated for about 10 kilovolts uh, it just uses a single device again I'm staying with a foil capacitor type design the compensation networks are all built up into the head here this is a trusty aluminum foil here Reynolds wrap and a bunch of cardboard to make up the case uh, just keep the noise down and eventually we would build this up into a copper type where I'll machine up a case or something for it but uh, this is just for proof of concept just to see if we could get something working so right now you can see I've got a uh, function generator set for a 10 hertz square wave and you can see here this is our 10 hertz it's reasonably flat uh, the output here is uh, 2 volts per division see here the generator is set for 5 volts peak to peak this probe currently has been trimmed for amplitude I'm really just interested in the bandwidth this prototype was really just about seeing if I could build a probe that has a flat response as you can see it's been frequency compensated I'll just go ahead and change the frequency of the generator So again this is a uh, 10 Hertz twenty here's a hundred Hertz And here's a kilohertz. There's 10 kilohertz. I'm just going to go ahead and select this to a sine wave. is 100 kilohertz so I've got the probe connected to the RF generator you can see it's currently set for 1 megahertz output you get an idea what the amplitude's like this is 2 megahertz 4 8 16 32 64 128 so it's starting to attenuate pretty bad 256 
512. It's basically the top end of the uh, generator. It's probably okay to run it up to a kilovolt, but <laughs> I think I really need to build something a little nicer than this before we uh, do any real high voltage tests with it. Looks like the response is pretty decent with it. Nope, 